Before this video begins, I need it to start with a disclaimer. Do not, whatever you do, try this at home. This is not an instructional video in how to do what I'm about to do, by any means. And doing this is absolutely voiding the warranty of my Nintendo Switch console. Now, <laughs> the first time I did this was at the start of 2019. It ended up being a two-day event where somewhere in the middle, I drilled pretty deeply into my hand. We could go on and on asking questions like, would, why were you using a power drill with a drill bit? All that's important here is to note that I do not recommend doing this yourself. So, these gorgeous Atomic Purple Joy-Cons are actually my original Switch Joy-Cons. And I rocked these for a long time on my Switch. I always kind of wished that I had changed the back to match it, but after dealing with the nightmare that was just changing these, which was an absolute nightmare, I was scared to try and change the back. What are we changing it to, you might ask? Well, I want to go into this holiday season and into new year with a fresh clean new approach not only to my switch but to life i just want this year to be gone so it makes perfect sense to change these suckers clear so this time not only are we going to be changing the joy cons to clear i'm actually going to take my switch apart void that warranty and uh have a completely clear switch the reason why i'm doing this by the way it was definitely inspired by satisfy whether you want to have a clear switch or not, you're gonna love this. I know. <laughs> if you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I love my Satisfy Grip. They are sponsoring this video, but you can go back and watch any of my Switch videos for the last like two or three years and you will see this grip on my Switch. So yeah, Satisfy made a clear Switch grip. It actually looks really nice on regular Joy-Cons. If you for some reason haven't yet bought a Satisfy Grip, now is the perfect time. This looks so freaking cool and it's perfect for the snowy holiday season. The Satisfy Grip has rubber inserts where you can easily slide your switch down onto it and it leaves a spacing around the switch so it won't leave any scuffs or marks. Another handy thing about the grip is you can easily just place it down. You don't have to worry about the kickflip stand which always flings halfway across the room anytime I try and use it anyway. Or when it actually does work, I knock the table and the whole thing just falls over. But by far the best part about the grip is just how it feels. The only way I can kind of explain it without you feeling it for yourself is it feels like I'm holding a PlayStation 4 controller now. And good news, if you click that link down below and use code WOOD20, you'll get for the first time ever 20% off a satisfied grip. My discount codes usually stack with other sales they're doing, but this is already the biggest discount they've let me give. Go down below, grab this grip because it helps support the channel so much and it it's just the best product for me to get sponsored by. I'm really just putting off doing it at this point, but uh, I'm excited. Let's do it. Okay, if we're gonna do this, we need the right tools this time. <laughs> Not making the same mistake as last time. So we're gonna need uh, a level for sure. We're gonna need that stud finder from last time so we can <laughs> find all the studs. We're gonna need our trusty hammer and we're gonna need a pair of scissors, of course, to cut any ribbons or wires that get in our way through this whole process. I don't care what it takes to change all of this this time. I am not using this drill. This drill is cursed and it's not going to happen today. So, you know, for safety reasons, in place of the drill today, we're gonna use a bus saw instead. So it's gonna, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we might need it at some point just to be on the safe side. I bought this Nintendo Triwin screwdriver set again. I bought it for the last video, but that was two years ago. I lost it. <laughs> I'm now remembering that last time I did this, I put cloth down on the table. How about I use this giant switch pillow that Kim made me? Yeah, that'll do it. I just don't want to scratch the screen. <laughs> I'm not realizing I don't know what to do. <laughs> I, di <laughs> I didn't get this far in my thought process. I'm gonna have to look up a tutorial. I don't know why I thought I would just open it and start. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's what I did wrong last time. I used the tri-wing screwdriver, but you're supposed to push really hard and turn really slowly. I was 
was just trying to undo it like a regular screw, but Nintendo actually designed these screws to be really difficult for normal people to just try and take apart. Two things, one, you need a special screwdriver that's a special size, and they also made the screws intentionally really brittle so that they're more often than not they break and they get stuck in so you can't take it apart. Unless you know what you're doing, which, you know, I do. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that's not the right one. We're off to a stellar start. <laughs> Easy. You see that guy right there? No, because that's not on camera. You see that guy right there? <laughs> I honestly did think about going out and buying a new Switch to do this on because this Switch has everything. But I decided, no, you have some confidence in yourself, Wood. Have some faith. I'm not gonna be like cracking into the hard drive and breaking things with a hammer. Oh, this screw. This screw got stuck. That got it. What next, Mr. Tutorial Man? Two on the bottom, one on the top, one under the kickstand. <sighs> Yeah, I remember now. There's a lot of screws. Apparently there's one behind the kickstand, which means uh, I need to take the SD card out. Oops. What do they say about I'm not gonna break my switch today? That's not a screw, that's a stub. Oh man, all these screws are different sizes. One at either end, but there's like one, two, three, four, five screws in there. Focus. Focus, focus. Wingardium Levy, focus. Whatever. Okay, there's five screws here, and I'm, I just gotta get the middle one. Why am I teaching you? I shouldn't be teaching you. Never mind. Unscrew all of them. Oh, that's even worse. So this should just come apart now. <laughs> this doesn't feel good. <laughs> this feels bad. There are so many people watching this that like work with like tech or, you know, do this kind of stuff for a living or watch YouTubers that do this for a living. And they're like, Wood, calm down. What's the big deal? You have to understand. I don't know what I'm doing. I am not the kind of person that should ever see this. If I see this, it means something has gone horribly wrong and I need an expert to help me now. <laughs> This might actually be easy. This part here needs to come off and be put on here, but that might be it. And then we might just put it back on. I might be worried about nothing. I think I'm done. Okay, the Joy-Cons are a nightmare. You have to take everything out of the Joy-Cons, like every little part. I think I'm almost done on this. Okay, well, no, there's a little bit more. Wow, that was actually uh, pretty easy. All right, so now I got to take off this bit, which uh, that's when I need to use this. So, <laughs> I mean, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. I'm really struggling to get this little screw back in. Oh, it's so fiddly. How do they put this together in the first place? Is there just like a bunch of people in Switch workshops fiddling around with tiny screws and dropping them all over the place, spending half an hour on one part of the process? Okay. All right. I think I got it. I think I got it. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, it, it works. Okay. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, now I just put it back on. Side note, this guy's putting on a white case and I actually really like it. No, no, I, I'm sticking with clear. This could go horribly wrong from here. I don't know how, but I wouldn't put it past me. I hope that my like big noggin and my head and my hair haven't like been destroying your uh, nice little bird's eye view up there. Okay, so now we just put the case back on. Can we take a second actually before I throw this case back on to actually look at the... Never mind. I was gonna say, can we actually look at the inner workings while we have it open because I've never seen it before. Oh, I'm now realizing how dumb that is because I'm, a, I'm putting a, a clear case on. <laughs> I actually had that moment. <laughs> I like it, but it kind of bothers me that most of the case is still black and not see-through. Whatever, let's uh, let's keep going. I need to try and remember where all these screws went. <laughs> um, <laughs> there it is. We can be honest with each other, right? We, we can, we, you and I, we can share our feelings and it stays just between us, kind of like a therapist. Um, I kind of hate it. <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, no, no, no. Hate it? Mm. Hate it's a, a strong word. I don't hate it. But on its own, it kind of looks like an unfinished Switch. I'm really hoping once we put the Joy-Cons on and the Switch grip, it's all gonna come together. Like, I'm looking at it, and my brain is telling me to still put this back on. Like, it's naked. It's naked. <laughs> hide its shame. <laughs> the cool thing about this is I like these purples a lot, but if you remember, Lestat Mods sent me some atomic purple Joy-Cons with light up LED lights inside that I can change with my phone. I'll leave a video down below for that. But those atomic purples are so much cooler than these. You can still buy those, by the way. They, he still makes them and they're awesome. He's refined the product now too, to be at a point where it, it doesn't bulge anymore. It's seamless. It's really cool. But yeah, so I already have those atomic purple ones. I don't need these anymore. So let's go ahead and put these on them. This pot sucks. There's like three levels to each Joy-Con. Yeah, oh my gosh. You know what? It's gonna take so long to do this part. And you guys have already seen me do it once with me breaking my freaking fingernails for a sake of a video. So instead of me filming the next 24 hours of my life doing this, let's try something magic for the video, okay? Alakadabra, Alakazam. I don't like these anymore. Purple Joy-Cons, be damned! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it was really uneventful, honestly. I'm sorry, I already filmed it once. If you want to watch me change Joy-Cons in a video, go and watch it, okay? It's a whole video on my- I drill into- Nothing, I know what you wanted, you sick perverted- You wanted to watch me change these because you were hoping I'd hurt myself again. Hey, I'm 30 now, okay? I've matured. I can make things now. <laughs> There's no way it was gonna happen again, or be as intense as last time. Well, the one thing I have- haven't done actually I swear is I haven't put it all together yet so we're gonna do that together for the first time you guys are gonna see the other side as I put these on for me it's it's gonna be a reveal <sighs> well I gotta say from this side I love the look it is gorgeous it's for some reason making me want to drink a sprite or a coke not, not a sponsor. It's just something about it. It's just really refreshing. I don't know what it is. Uh, uh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! That looks pretty neat. Actually, yeah. yeah. Thank gosh. I'm actually really liking it. Now that you've got the batteries too, you can see all the inner workings here. Suddenly this makes a lot more sense. Without it, it kind of looks eh. But as soon as you start to see the entire backside, Whatever. It looks really good. And the front. Oh boy, that is so, uh, yeah. I, I want to say sexy, but I don't want to be a creep. I just really like it. All right, next step. Mm, the whole reason we did this entire thing. The satisfy grip. Oh yeah. That's a mood. That's a mood right there. I like that a lot. I'm also seeing myself and realize I left my hair up. That looks really cool. All right, I got my new Switch look for the next year. Okay, I know there is no way that I actually broke it, uh, but let, let's go ahead and put the SD card back in and turn it on, make sure it still works. While this is booting up, I wanna thank you all for watching. If you could like the video and subscribe, that would be great. Oh, and click the old bell as well. Uh, look how many of you don't click the bell. Ah, ah, my videos are pretty good. Hit the bell. Come on. Huge thank you to Satisfy as well for sponsoring the video. Remember, please click the link below. It supports me and it's just, it's a great product. It really is. I mean, look how cool this is. All right. Is the switch gonna... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Whew.